So we gathered in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And also with you. So good morning. Good morning. So the um, <clears throat> uh, so today we're celebrating uh, um, Tuesday of the uh, tenth week in ordinary time. And so let us place ourselves before the Lord now, ask him to be with us and listen to all the prayers in our hearts today. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on, your, on you in our need may at the promptings discern what is right and by your guidance to do it. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Kings. The brook near where Elijah was hiding ran dry because no rain had fallen in the land. So the Lord said to Elijah, move on to Seraphath and Sidon and stay there. I have designated a widow there to provide for you. He left and went to Seraphath. As he arrived in the sit entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, please bring me a small cupful of water to drink. She left to get it, and he called out after her, please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, as the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first make me a small cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, of, the God of Israel says, the jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year and Elijah and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, let your face shine on us. When I call, answer me, O oh my just God. You who relieve me when I'm in distress, have pity on me and hear my prayer. Men of rank, how long will you be dull of heart? Why do you love what is vain and seek after falsehood? Lord, let your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Tremble and sin not. Reflect upon your beds in silence. Lord, let your face shine on us. O Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us and, your good, and put gladness into my heart more than when grain and wine abound. Lord, let your face shine on us. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything, but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. So the gospel today uh, about salt and light. It's uh, as we move into the Sermon on the Mount. And <clears throat> so what does it mean for us to be salt and light? Upon reflection, Jesus' words are quite specific. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. And so he was uh, directing his quote directly at each and every one of us. And so we're called to be salt and light. Um, so salt, it's uh, many uses. Um, and in the time of Jesus, it was one of the big trading commodities. There were caravans um, used to take salt all over um, the, the kind of the known world at that time, uh, trading salt. And it was traded much like uh, gold and other stuff is traded today. It was one of the most prized uh, commodities, and um, life uh, couldn't exist without it. And uh, uh, not only did it uh, flavor food, but also it preserved. It was a, a preservative as well. And um, <clears throat> I remember in my own childhood, um, when we had the killing of the pig, and uh, so it was a... Uh, uh, cut up into different sections and each uh, was salted and it's uh, a way of preserving it was a uh, it was put in a wet salt first and then a dry salt and then we didn't have refrigerators in those days so it was put in a, a cool place uh, to store it and that's why the rule was you never ate pork um, <clears throat> when there wasn't an hour in the month so may june july august you didn't eat pork it, um, uh, because keeping it in those hot, uh, hot, hot times was, uh, uh, was very difficult. So, the, um, <clears throat> so it was a commodity that uh, used uh, throughout the world and the world existed on it. And even to today, farmers, they put a block of salt in the field uh, for the cows to come up and lick because uh, they need salt also. It's, um, and it's, so it's a, a wide variety. But one of the things, of course, if you cut yourself and you get salt into the cut, oh, 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 <laughs> it stings. <laughs> and so salt is a stinging element. So does he ask us to sting people? You know, if they're not living the gospel, are we to sting them with the gospel? Um, it's an interesting thought. And also, the, um, we are to be a light of the world. We are to be the lampstands for the light of Christ, for the gospel to shine in the world. And especially to shine the light on uh, people who don't like the light, because it shows up their unscrupulness and, um, and the things they're doing that are not quite right. And so one of the things we have to do is shine the gospel into every nook and cranny, so that the, um, so that everyone comes into the justice of God and that the justice of God, the, uh, the light of that shines everywhere 
And so it's a challenge to those who are not living uh, the gospel. And so the, um, but also one of the most important things for uh, people of faith, it illuminates the way so that we don't stumble in our path to the Lord. It illuminates the path so that we can follow the path to the Lord very clearly. And so, the, um, so we are to be the salt, uh, to give the world a flavour, a flavour of the kingdom. And we are to be light, bring the light of God's justice into the world. And so let us pray this morning. We pray for the Sisters of the Sacred Hearts on retreat this week. We pray that the Holy Spirit will be with them in a special way this week. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the world where the darkness of violence is overwhelming and the darkness of the pandemic shrouds people in fear, the church will be the light of truth and compassion we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the inequality between people which rise the, to violence on the streets in many countries be resolved through governments caring for their people with justice and sincerity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the writings of St. Ephraim, who is known as the harp of the Holy Spirit, will help deepen our faith in guidance and wisdom of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Today is the feast of, of St. Columba, who established his monastery on the island of Iowa, Iona. <laughs> and from him and his monks evangelized Scotland. So let us pray that the Scots, and especially the church in Scotland, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And let us make our own prayer to the Lord now. Eternal God, let your face shine on us so that we, in turn, may radiate your love and joy to others through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So the um, St. Columba, he established uh, the monastery on uh, Iona there. And, um, so, and he went and evangelized the Scots. And so, do you know how copper wire was invented? Two Scotsmen over arguing over a penny. <laughs> So blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And Lord, accept the sacrifice of your hand, for the grace of glory of his name, and the heart of the good of all his church. And let us pray. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Also with you. And let us lift up our hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily efforts of your care, but even now possess the pledge of eternal life. 
for having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with angels and archangels, we praise you as in joyful celebration. We say, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, that by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for many, so that sins will be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And we remember especially all those of the Sacred Hearts, the sisters and the brothers who have gone to the Lord, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Apostles, the Martyrs, and all the Saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And let us pray now in the words Jesus himself gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every fear and evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxieties, wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And also Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
And let us pray. <clears throat> May your healing work, our Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to do what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. There was a sister one time and uh, she was in ill health and uh, so the doctor told the uh, community um, to give her a glass of milk each night, with hot milk with a uh, glass of brandy in it. And so this went on for about six months and uh, it was time for her to go to the Lord. And so the sisters were gathered round and they said to her, Mother, is there anything you want to tell us? And she says, yes. She says, whatever you do, don't sell that cow. <laughs> so let us ask the Lord to bless us now, be with us, and be especially mindful of our families and friends. And the Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let's go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. Thank you, Father.